Hello, Vinak, everyone. It's me, Paya, on my channel, Fusion Girl Learning. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how I got my first ever listing, which was a 1.2 million industrial property, and if I have closed it. All right, so let's get started with the story. I want to tell you guys, um, I received my license in July, and by this time, I was frequenting Tabua Town, which is just an hour away from where I live. And during every trip, I would get uh, acquainted with new people and recommended to assist other people in um, real estate. So I was trying to network as much as possible because I haven't got any, I didn't have any listing when I first started. And then one day I went to a property because I had a buyer and I was looking for someone that was selling a property that fitted what my buyer wanted. Um, then I got directed to the police station because the owner works for the police. And when I reached the police station, I asked for the owner. Then I got connected via phone call and I was asked to wait for a few minutes before the owner could arrive so we could discuss about um, his property. When the owner arrived, he was absolutely surprised that someone was trying to sell his property, but he wasn't actually selling his property and he wanted to know who was selling his property. And then I told him, I'm so sorry, like, um, I didn't know that your house isn't for sale. I was just shown by someone that it was for sale and I wanted to know more about it. Then he said, sorry, it's not for sale. Um, My property is not for sale. And then after uh, discussing for a few more minutes, I was uh, advised to go to another person that was selling an industrial property. So I went to this other person, I introduced myself and we got to know each other. Then I was given a listing and this made me so happy because it was my first ever listing. And to top it off, it was a 1.2 million industrial property. So I got the listing and um, it's located on the outskirts of Tavua, right? And like I mentioned before, it's an agreement to lease with light industrial zoning. It's right next to the Kings Road Highway. It's very convenient uh, because uh, next to it, you have these companies that own bulldozing um, uh, vehicles. Yeah. And then right across from it, you have um, another big company that's well known for uh, steel and um, block making as well. Let's talk a bit more about the one that I have listed, which is um, the 1.2 million property. Uh, it has a block making machinery, right? So it has that these cement blocks. Um, it can make two different sizes, the bigger size and the smaller size. I believe it's the eight inch and the six inch blocks. Yeah. And then um, it also has a water tank, a borehole. There's an office space for workers. There's also um, um, a restroom. Then you have a huge spacious uh, area out front that um, sometimes cows will be grazing on. So there's a lot of space that can be utilized for perhaps a supermarket or a food chain restaurant. Now the question is, have I been able to close this property listing? The answer is no, I still haven't been able to close it. We still have it on the market. It's still available and the price has um, gone down to 1 million negotiable. So if you know anyone that's interested in industrial properties here in the Fiji Islands, um, let me know. We have a few uh, others, uh, including this one here. Yeah, so there are challenges for industrial properties in the Fiji Islands. Um, to get sold, it takes time uh, compared to residential properties. So residential properties are a lot faster to sell. I have been told to focus more on industrial, pro I mean, on residential properties instead of industrial properties. 